Welcome to Software Spotlight, where we shine a light on must-have software that makes tech life easier. Today, we are diving into Royal TS. Hello everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Software Spotlight. And in this episode, I would like to share with you a tool that we use at work that is a game changer in streamlining our workflows, especially when managing a lot of different systems. Before we get started with the video, just a disclaimer first that this video is not sponsored by Royalty S. I truly like the tool and I really want to share with you the tools that I like and have been using at work as an IT professional and also for my personal use. So if you're interested in today's video, let's get started. So maybe you're wondering what is Royal TS and what does it do? Royal TS is a powerful remote management solution that allows you to manage multiple remote connections from a single interface. It supports various protocols like RDP, SSH, VNC, and even web-based management sessions. The software is designed with IT professionals in mind, making it easy to organize, automate, and securely access your infrastructure. So let's get started setting up and installing Royal TS to see more of its features. So if you want to check out Royal TS, they do have the light version, which is free and you can connect up to 10 connections in here if you just want to check it out before committing into it or if you are going to use it for your personal use, you can store up to 10 credentials in here. And if you do want to buy it, there is a single user version in here that is not a subscription, one time payment, no annual fees and no hidden cost. So for now, because we are doing it in my home setup, let's do the light version and we can just download it if you go to their website. So there is different versions of Royal TS for different operating systems. So if you are using Windows, there's one available also for Mac OS. There is also different versions for mobile like Android and iOS as well. If you want to use more features for the Royal TS without any limitations, you can use the Royal server. So for now, we are using Royal TS for Windows and I'm just going to download it. Okay, let's check our download now and it should be easy to set up. Okay, let's click on next, accept him next and just wait for it to install. Okay, so let's open Royal TS and see more of its features okay so i like that when you open it up for the first time it shows you a tutorial in here there's a getting started tab in here and shows you how to create sessions create connections and this is the interface so it looks like a very easy to navigate program okay so let's check out what we can do in here on the free version so on the upper left there is a new icon in here and you can click on that so we can create our new document so just click on this new icon in here and just name your document for example East Charmer and you can type in the description and click on OK so you can see it'll show up in here and these are the folders that will be automatically added whenever you create a document. There will always be the connections, the credentials, and the task. So connections is where you can add the different connections that you want to access, like VNC, terminal, web page, team viewer. For credentials, this is where you can add your username and password so you don't have to keep typing in the password whenever you access something and task will be more for like automation and scripting okay before we get started connecting our web page because that's one of the most common connections that we have we do have web pages for our portals and our systems so we can go to the view in here and click on plugins and there's like different plugins in here for different programs but we are going to do the web page first and since our default is Internet Explorer in here. I wanted to set up Chrome because modern browsers works better on Chrome. So I'm just going to set this as default instead of uh, Internet Explorer. And I'm going to try to add a new connection in here. So under connections, 
I'm just gonna click on add and then do a web page then just type in East Charmer website in our URL okay let's see if we can get into it okay so now our website is showing so that is one way to add a connection to Royal TS if you have anything web page you can add it in here just make sure to change your plugin here as chrome for the default so it'll run your websites better okay so i'm gonna add another connection in here so let's just right click for example i wanted to do an ssh session so you can select terminal in here and then just put a design uh, just put the display name in here for example it's gonna be my switch and so this is where you can type in the IP address, for example, one and two I guess. And you can add a description in here. Just make sure that you have the proper port for SSH. Okay, of course it's not gonna work because it's just a dummy switch for now, an example. For example, we're gonna add another type of connection in here. So you can do a remote desktop as well. Let's uh, type in a file server, for example, and then just add in the computer name. For example, uh, EC file server. Okay, so since we are using Lite in here, which is a free version, we can only add up to 10 connections if you want to use this for your personal use. But if you are paying for the license, you can, I don't think there's a limit in here, but you can add as many as you want. And then in the credential section in here, this is what we use a lot at work too. So you can add a credential, like a username and password, so you don't have to keep typing a password. Whenever you're logging in, you can just select it and add credentials. Okay, so you can type in what credential it is for. So for example, web credentials. Then just type in your username and password, for example, east. Farmer, and you can add a description in here. For example, website, passwords. Click on OK, and it will give you an option to encrypt your password to make it more secure. So if you go to credentials, click on this, you will see the different credentials that you have created. For example, let's add another one. This is for like example network credentials, for example. And username is switch. Okay, for network devices. And then when you click on this, it's gonna be listed in here. Okay, so let's talk about the different features that I love about Royalty S and my favorite features. So one of them is the multi-tab interface and this is for managing multiple connections. So this is what I do a lot at work. For example, I have like two websites open in here and I need to like copy some settings on the other website. So this is really easy when you do it on Royalty S because if you right click on the tab in here, there is this two options in here that you can use for viewing like horizontal or vertical. So if I do the vertical tab group in here, I can just look at these two websites side by side. If I'm comparing something or if I am copying something, it's just easy. Also, we can do a horizontal tab group. This is more for like switches or like terminals. It's easier to like copy commands like this as well. If you have, if you're access, trying to access like a network switch, for example. Okay, so another feature that I like about this is that you can organize all of your connections and session in here. So if you have like hundreds of session, you can create a folder in here. So under this, under this main, connection i can add a folder and name it for example websites and then i can create another folder and name it like networking for example to organize a different session and you can put them in a specific folder 
Okay, so for example, this website in here, I can move this to my websites folder in here. Let's do the switch and the different folders to move them to the networking folder. So they're more organized in here into different categories. So this is up to you, of course, but that's also one thing that you can do in here. And of course, Royalty S is like a one-stop shop where it's just one interface. You just open one program, but then you can also connect through RDP, VNC, the websites, SSH. So you don't have to install all the other programs like Putty or VNC, and you can organize and put them all in here. Also, if you have hundreds of connections, it's so easy to search in here if you're looking for something. So if you type in Zima board, it will just show up right away. Also, what's nice is that you can save a copy of all of the connections that you have created in here. For example, if you wanted to share it with your team because you already created all of the connections and the settings and the credentials, instead of them having to do it again from scratch or spending time to add all of the connections in your company like one person can do it and they can share it with the whole team so what you can do is to go to file and then save as and then it'll be saved as a royalty as a document in here and then you can open that later on for example that was saved and you wanted to just open a copy of that document. If you have that copy, you can just open it here and it'll show up everything that your teammate has created. Okay, so there's more features in here like automating and scripting, but since we are using this light version, I'm very limited to what I can show you in here. But for starters, this is how you can use this tool or software. And you can play around with it if you ins try to install the light version. And they also have like tutorials and documents and resources online that you can check out if you want to try this out yourself. So that would be it for today's episode of Software Spotlight. If you want to check out Royalty S, feel free to do so and let me know in the comment section if you like it or not. I hope you learned something from today's video and if you have any recommendations on what we can feature on Software Spotlight, please also leave a comment down below and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.